Hello, and um, it is Caleb of Pokemon, and this is episode 2 of the One Watch Admin Guide. Now, to start a war in your clan, you're going to have to be a lead role. So this is that L button, and you should make sure you should have it to start a war. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this war tab. You, it should already be on it, and you can either click, this is searching, and how this works is it actively searches. So if I just click 25 be 25 then it'll actively have a search thing so if you have a search going on currently then you can just run that and then when you have found a match you can then like enter in the clan tag and this is useful because as it's searching you can just enter in who you're searching with so you're gonna enter in your marching order which is uh basically all your people in the war but I'm going to go back to this later but usually you won't need to do this because usually you'll already have found the war but that's how you use a search thing once you finish then you just and once you have found the match sorry you then enter in the tag but what you're usually going to want to use is you're going to want to use draft here this button and then you're going to want to do starting in so I'm going to go into this current war so as you can see we're in a war and then it has 10 hours and 5 minutes so you're going to want to enter that in right here and five minutes to go and as you can see it is a what is this a 25 v 25 and then all you need to do for this enemy tab is you're going to want to look at the enemy tab so you're going to go in here you're going to look at the enemy team and you're going to see tag is right here and you can copy that um because i'm in blue stacks but you can uh, just type it out if you're on your phone just read it off from the enemy clan in your war page so just click this check button and then it will pull the data so you have the name level and the map wins and here, and here we have cool mode and any duration lets uh, the player either specify how long they want to the call to last or it is infinite timing throughout the war so, and we have quarter remaining of war a third remaining of war and only up to half of the war remaining and here we have the normal times, only up to 12 hours. So we have, yep, that's just going to be how long the call will last from the call from battle day. And here we have initial marching orders. It has already been filled out because it is a default setting. I put it down in the clan settings. So, and there's allow multiple active call stacks so that people can call cleanup on a base if they want it. And I'll only allow leads and mods to make calls, pretty self explanatory, and only allow leads and mods to log attacks. So that's from logging after the war has ended, or during the war if you want. And there's also allowing clan members to edit members, that is editing the town hall and name of the member. So I'm just going to keep these settings and click save. And here we are. So we have on my side lineup and on the enemy side we have enemy so what you're going to want to do is it requires you to enter in all of your um, members on the side so you're going to have to enter in their names and all of the enemy side you can just leave it doesn't require any um, the names or town halls although if you have specified that it does require a town hall you will have to enter the town halls and I'll show you how to quickly do that later. So here we have marching orders. So I said I come back to this. So um, here you have the names. So basically, this line one is going to be your number one player. So let's just head into my war. Just reload it. So it's going to be number one all the way up to twenty five, and you're going to enter in the names as it shows. So let's just go here, and then you look in your team. So right here, here is a good example. So he has a emoticon. So what you're going to want to do is you could find it and copy it and paste it in here or you could just go in here this is a member select tab which is very useful so you just want to find the name here and then just click it in and but it is mostly better to just type in the name so just i and that is just how you type it in it's better just type it in and if you find any weird characters like here then you're just going to want to find their name in this tab as you can see these right there and if they are not here then you're going to want to refresh your member list because otherwise it's out of date so you're going to want to refresh it and marching orders i think you can also edit the enemy name but that is not required as i said and here in war setup you can delete the war 
and it says it right here just read that and go back you can also edit it so if you are maybe entered in the clan wrong or if it's ending at a different date or if you want to change the things but here active that is very important so you're going to want to press active when you have finished all of your um, marching orders and you've entered in all your member names so let's just go back to that and I'll just enter in all of the names of the people in this war. Okay, I'm back filling in. Now, one thing I need to mention is I am aware that you can change the name. So you can go into the player profile and give them a nickname. And that nickname is going to be the one you can enter in here. But I like to just have their real thing because it's just better. But it's easier to have a nickname if you want. Um, I would recommend that. Um, my way is kind of different, so just do whatever you want. But I'm just going to click save because I have done this. But the problem is, most of these people, as you can see, are new. So it, they have not been refreshed. As you can see, it's already finding someone who has not been added to the clan. Now you can add them like this, and it's explained here, but that is not very good. I think it's better to just refresh the page. The, the only reason you, you add them like this is you is if they are not in the clan but if they are in the clan you can just go to your war page and just go back and then you can just go to you, your refresh button and you just hit that and it will refresh it from the, from the supercell servers and it will just give you all of the nice members and you can then go back here and click save and then it will okay i'm actually about that i just have to fix everything but yeah uh, so, once your lineup is ready, you can press active. So, right now as a draft, only the leads can see this draft. The members cannot see this draft, so only the leads can. And once you activate it, then the members can see it and they can call, start calling bases. So, all you, yep, I've already made the tutorial on how to call bases, but that is all you need to do for setting up a war. Everything else is just on battle day. So, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Just one more quick thing, I said I teach you how to quick code the enemy. So on warmatch.us, that's quick, you can see on war setup now, we're going to look at this, and you can rank a clan member in war. This stuff is mainly not really required, you can do that manually better than quick codes. And here is what we really want. So you can set enemies 2 to 18, as time of mind, that's an example. So let's say I am facing in this war. So let's go back and we're going to face enemy 2 to sorry, 1 to 5 are at town hall 10. So you're going to enter that in and you can see all of enemy 1 to 5 are town hall 10. And then enemy 6 to let's say 25 are all town hall 9. But as you can see here, you don't require the bracket. So please remember to include the brackets when you're typing in the enemy town hall and there is also set enemy and town hall level which is for individual enemies now i highly recommend you don't set the enemy name because it's just very long you don't require it so it's it's not just useful so just don't need that only set town hall if you want and also here's cleanup crew that is individual members again not really useful you can tell them better on your own messaging app that you're using within your clan than on Warmatch because people do not check Warmatch for their cleanup, sorry, for their messages on what to do in war. And there's also marching order for enemy rank which is quite useful for stopping people calling as you can see, a don't attack until end, maybe that's like the enemy number one and you need to save it for your enemy number one, for your number one to attack it. And you can also set CC troops. So that is very useful, as you see, an example, enemy number 8 has a hound. So let's just set that up. So let's say enemy number 1 has a hound, and you're going to use asterisk, and you're going to say, let's say he has a golem. And let's just close that. Add in the dot. And you got to add in the dot. I forgot that. So yeah, as you can see, it updates here. And maybe number two has a lava hand as well then you're just going to enter in that and then it will appear right here but another thing is you can add enemy and then 
here, as you can see, a hand has appeared on quick code because I've entered it in quick code. You can also enter in the gold weight and anything about their profile, enemy name, which you don't need, town hall, which has already been set, and any of marching orders saying use guns and pekka, well, hogs and hogs. No guns and peckers. And you can just save that as profile and it will appear on the marching order. And also, as you can see, there's this quick thing, this quick code, that is just a note on the base, maybe there's a, like, a hole in the base, you can just enter that in here, and if someone wants, they can just go in and find it, although people don't use that usually, so I wouldn't recommend using that feature. So that's the full guide on how to do it. This time, signing up for real, I'll see you guys later.